Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Soul. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. The beard and the hair. Ah, there we go. Hey, how's it going, everybody? <laughs> Welcome back to Solo in the Ark. I'm Flicker Foo. And, uh, yeah, just for anybody, uh, I saw a couple things down in the comments. How do you turn on this right here? You just turn off your hat. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> it comes back. All right, but yeah, um, uh, how's everybody doing today? I'm having a great day, but uh, I've been thinking about exactly uh, what direction I want to take this Scorched Earth into, and I do want to start pressing forward a little bit uh, um, further towards the Manticore because that is the uh, um, the reason why we were here is to beat this map. And I think I want to start uh, setting my sights on doing uh, the caves. I need to get the caves on a farm status, which means I need to go in. I need to uh, get the artifact one time, and then I'll go in and get it probably about four or five more times. That's usually how I do it in Soul of the Ark. It's just the fourth or the fifth times I generally don't show everybody. It's just the first time I go in, and uh, we get in, clear the thing, uh, get it... Um, you know, get uh, my uh, respawn shack set up if I need a respawn shack. Or also uh, set up a artifact thing on the outside so where I can take that and we can carry that out and stuff like that. But yeah, I think today what we're going to do, we're going to be hopping on Coffee Badger because there are a couple caves. Actually, there's three caves here on uh, um, Scorched Earth. One of them is actually just right down the ravine from us. I mean, just right, bam, right down that way. Uh-oh. Perry, where is it, Perry? <laughs> been getting some weird raptor entanglements coming around lately um and then um there's another one that's over in the desert over that way and then there's another one that's way up by the blue obelisk and i think today what we're going to be handling is the easiest of the bunch and just getting that one out oh there's a lip okay yeah all right so if we can't jump over the lip then we can't jump over the oh i need a gerboa if we're going in there also, uh, yeah, I should probably grab some sort of something something so where just in case if we get hit with rabies because rabies in the caves on Scorched Earth is definitely a thing. Uh, you know what? Maybe I should make some, um, yeah, I'll, I'll probably have to make some, uh, med brews just in case. All right, so, uh, yeah, let's get this thing sorted and that's pretty much what this is for. <laughs> this is, <laughs> that's to get the med brews going and also, uh, kibble, all sorts of stuff like that. All right, so let's get that going. First you take your tinted berry and stick it in the water, then you grab your narcotic and you stick it in the water, and you go inside of here, and then you flush it all down. Yeah. There's not not the catchiest song, but you know what? I'm going with it. Alright. Turn on. There we go. That's the stuff. All right, well, 23 will do it. Apparently, we're out of water. We're going to have to wait for that to uh, pick back up. So let's just take those, put those down there, and now we're ready to go. Rabies be damned. Oh, hold on. We also do have an antidote somewhere around here, but it's going to spoil if I don't uh, use it. There we go. We'll take that just in case. All right. <laughs> little trick-or-treating bonus that we've got. All right, so, uh, yeah, on this one right here, on this cave, I don't expect too much bad stuff. Um, but then again, Coffee Badger is a really, really good, uh, Thyla. Um, granted, actually, maybe we should go with some cloth armor just in case. Yeah, you know what? I think maybe I'll, I will go with cloth armor because the, uh, um, there are Arthropleura inside of these that will mess you up. If you go on with hide like I do on the island, then it'll, it'll, they'll just jack you up. They'll just be like, oh yeah, hey, guess what? Uh, yeah, you're overheating now and you're dying. So, uh, yeah. Have fun with that. I'm just gonna have to craft some uh, regular. Uh, let's see, let's grab. Uh, let's see, hide. Uh, we don't even need very much hide. And then fiber is out here. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. Yeah, just a little bit of fiber. Uh, a little bit more, and maybe a little bit more, and a touch more. All right, and then let's see. Uh, craft. Uh, cloth. Oh, no. Wrong button! Craft. Cloth. All right. I mean, it only provides, you know, 50 armor. But then again, when you're on the back of a rather durable Thyla, um, yeah, it's not that big of a deal. All right. And apparently, I accidentally jumped on top of my extra. All right. There we go. There we go. All right, Coffee Badger. All right, so uh, let's get 
this going. And now this cave that we're going to is just right. Oh, whoa, look at you. Oh, okay, you'd be better without that little blue bit underneath. If that was the same color of gray, that would look really good on you. You know, I'm... I hate to say, you know, oh, you you would have looked so much better if you had done other things with your appearance. But, you know, on in that guy's case, it was true. All right. <laughs> you know, and I haven't gotten a Halloween-themed uh, Jerboa yet, other than the skeleton one. But, you know, I'm fine with it. All right, so, uh, yeah, when you're trying to find this cave... Uh, just going down to this massive ravine that traces all the way down this way and just chase it hey dude all right and then <laughs> you uh, come up like this and just go right through here and it's uh pretty much right inside of this uh sandstone uh little bit up here it's really really easy to cave to find once you found it but finding it the first time it's pretty dang uh i remember my first time trying to find this cave it was rough and it's right up inside. Oh, hey, fallen morella tops. Hey, dude. All right, and then right inside of here. And then here, let me show you on the map where this is at. Right here. All right, and it goes right on the inside of here and right past uh, the really kind of cool green morella tops. Although inside here, you can get raptors and stuff like that. So be careful. <laughs> and you come on the inside of here. Oh, yeah, look, there's stuff falling through. But yeah, there's this huge uh, um, crevice that goes up there, or crevasse, however you uh, pronounce it, that goes up through there. And all you do is just, uh, follow this path to the right. I hear raptors eating something. Yeah, you follow the path to the right, and then there's this little uh, um, lip that comes up this way. It's a little ramp. Oh, hey, look. Bees. Go up this way, curve around. And up here, you take a left. Goes through here. And down like this. And then, bam! Right there it is. Yep, right here it is. This is the cave. Now, um, if you are on, like, public servers and stuff like that, uh, you can set up a uh, respawn shack just right over here. This is, like, for... Um, further um, away to uh, put it down. Or also, if you don't have cave building turned on, if you have cave building turned on, you can put the respawn shack right in the front. And just, it just doesn't matter. Yeah. But uh, otherwise, it, back there is the spot for the respawn shack. I don't think I'm going to need a respawn shack. If I do need a respawn shack, then maybe bad things are happening and you are on passive. No, let's go neutral. There we go. All right. So now that we're going in, wrong button. There we go. And you know what? We need to be a little bit festive. There we go. All right. Let's get our butt inside. Now, this cave is... Uh, it, it's pretty cool. And when I... Yeah, it's, we're already overheating. It, it, this cave gets pretty hot. And what I mean by this cave is pretty cool, it's not that it's pretty cold. It's wicked hot in here. It's like hot and musty and sweaty and nasty. And you come in here and then it's like, you're like, oh, is that me dripping? The answer is yes. Yes, it is. The answer is very much yes. You are the one dripping. And apparently, we don't have many spawns in here. If we're not getting any spawns, I may leave and come back. Because I want there to be spawns. I want to show you guys how much spawnage stuff there is inside of here. There's quite a bit. Yeah, we're going to definitely have to come back in. Alright, see you guys in just a little bit. All right, I've been waiting probably about 45 minutes to an hour, just chilling out here, waiting for this thing to spawn. So if it's there, it's there. If it's not, it's not. I would love to see an active cave, but you know, tired of waiting. All right. <laughs> Besides, I just want to get the artifact. All right, so come down in like this, and then... Okay, so usually there's a bunch of... Uh bats and stuff right here we'll just pretend they're here oh bats all right there we go nailed it all right see couldn't have been better all right let's see although i think there might be some things in here i just have that gut feeling that there might be a few bad things let's keep our eye out okay i hear things oh hey look things are spawning ah snake all right there's usually about five times more snakes right there all right um 
Oh, you were hungry. Oh, see, we were waiting too long. You got hungry. I'm sorry. All right, here, let's go like that. And then throw that away. And then put that over there. Nailed it. All right, see, I'm on the fast track of nailing it right now. Oh, I see you. I see two of you. Huh, you guys see that? Yeah? You don't see it? No, 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 no. Yeah, apparently I can't hit it either. And here they come. And here comes the rabies. There's one Megalania. And there's two Megalania. Oh, hey, we got Megalania toxin. I will keep that. And bam. All right. So now here is the toughest part, at least in my opinion, of this entire cave. Because you can't fit a Thyla through there. You have to cryo the Thyla. Get it through there. If you're on a wolf, you can just run right through there. Wolf is actually a really good one for the cave. But if something spawns while you have the thing cryoed, you're kind of dead. Uh oh. I forgot a cryopod. All right, so we're coming back here in just a minute. Hopefully, more things will spawn. All right. I forgot a cryopod. Yeah, um, so that happened. All right, you ready for this coffee badger? All right. Cave at the bottom of the crevasse. Take three. Okay? All right. Yeah, I think we're ready to go. All right, let's do this. Right, let's get inside of here. All right. Oh, coffee badge. We forgot. Do you have one of those little uh, slider things? All right. That'll work. <laughs> All right. Let's get our butt down inside of here. Uh, okay. So over like this down here, and apparently nothing spawned yet. Yeah, it's having a hard time. See, on single player, uh, these caves sometimes will spawn stuff. Uh, my bag's still here. And then sometimes they won't. But on on uh, Scorched Earth, it's generally a little bit worse. On uh, regular servers, these generally not the problem. Why is your... Ah, that would be why. Okay. It just wasn't showing up. There we go. Right, and then popping through right here. See, every once in a while, you'll have something right here. And I love this. It's this architecture stuff that they've got right here. It is so cool looking. And right, let me see. I get a good picture of that. Yeah, the brightness is just all weird. All right, so come over like this. And down here, uh, you'll see it actually looks like there is a... Uh, bottomless pit but it's not it's not bottomless at all it actually has a very solid bottom all right let's go around the way we're supposed to normally on a thyla i'll just jump if you just jump right down through here you can just go right down hit the artifact bam get it get out um but if you want to come around this way go past like these uh little tombs built into the wall Jump over that. Right, so we've got a little bit of spawnage in here. I would imagine if I would have waited probably about another hour, everything would have been spawned. It's just having a hard time. All right, so here, uh, if you want to do this the proper way, all you do is go like this and just regularly jump, and that'll put you there. If you run jump, especially on imprinted Thyla, you'll face plant on that and you'll fall. down like this oh hey look we have bats yay things to eat us ah 
That was short-lived. All right. Get over here. All right, one of the cool things about the Scorched Earth Caves, they come with a uh, little bonus presents. This one's got the uh, Scorched Spike Skin. Or, uh, um, the pike, the scorched spike skin, which is the, for the pike. You put that on your pike, it looks really, really cool. All right, and also I saw red loot down below, so we're gonna grab that while we're here. Why not, right? Probably should have brought in a torch. Normally, this is a lot more dangerous. Yep. Mastercraft Thorny Drag. Ooh. Uh, 56 armor. Wow, that's a lot of crafting materials for 56 armor. Eh, could still be worth it. All right. And see, this is what I mean. It looks like it's a bottomless uh, uh, cave, but it's really not. It actually has a very solid bottom. So if you fall on this one, it's not that big of a deal, as long as you're on something that can take the fall. Uh, there are caves on Scorched Earth that do have bottomless pits. And you need to be very careful of those. Alright, there we go. Back up here. Let's go see what else we can get on the way out. But yeah, that right there, for the most part, is the cave. It's just there's nothing spawned inside of it, which kind of sucks. But it is what it is. At least this way here allows me to uh, show you guys the exact path that you have to take through. I'm sure I'm bet things are going to be spawned over here. Nope. All right. Okay, so let's get through here. All right, up this way. And once in a great while, you'll actually get a loot drop that's up in there that you just can't get. Uh, it's up there just to tease you. Um, it's actually behind an invisible barrier that you can't get. So, yeah. Go through this way. Right up back through here. And then take a left right here, and then we're out. And, oh, it's super heat right now. Okay. All right. All right. Long button. Yeah. Desert cloth armor makes super heat so much uh, more manageable. Especially the good stuff. Oh, and we're overheating anyway. All right. So, hey, that happened. Cool down a little bit. Tech canteens are amazing. All right. Let's get back to base and let's get um, an artifact thing set up where we can start uh, presenting the artifacts. But yes, this is the easiest cave of the bunch. There are a couple more. <gasps> oh, dude, a phoenix. Level 20. Oh, I know where you live, dude. Oh, okay. So we found him. So now when it's not super heat, we can actually come back with a, tr uh, with a parasaur and we can track him down where we can get the exact spot for him. That is cool. Oh, man. And we just stumbled upon him. That is awesome. We never would have done it without the Super Heat. Thank you, Super Heat. Appreciate it. Super Heat's just up there like, you know what? I just wanted to kill Flinger. All right. Let's get back to base. All right. Apparently, we're going to have to go on an obsidian run really quick. I don't have any obsidian up in here. Yeah, there should be obsidian just right up here. Yep, there we go. And this is actually just right up a... Oh, hello. What level are you, dude? 10. Okay, well, we'll pull you away. Come on. Come on, dude. Oi! Get your butt over here.
There you go. Thank you for cooperating. All right, have fun, dude. All right, I'm just gonna wait for him to go back down. Go snag all of his good stuff. Oh, hey, look, there was a horse up here. Hey, horse, how you doing, man? Grab all this stuff. Aren't you a good looking saber? Oh, only level 55, but I'm still not gonna, not gonna kill you because you're green. All right. So, uh, yeah, the other cave was a flop. I mean, we got the artifact, but it was still a flop. I mean, I'm kind of looking for a fight at this point. Hi. How you doing, dude? All right, so let's get up here. Let's do this other cave. Hopefully, this one will be a little bit more um, kind to us and try to kill us. Right? That, that, that's how that works, right? I mean, if they like you, they try to eat you, right? right? Let's see. Get inside of here. And this cave right here is... Right. Hello? Alright, this cave right here is right here on the map. Way up here in the... Uh, um, In the mountains above the blue ob. Let's get in here. Where's that? Hello. Okay, so there is some stuff in here. All right, all right. Oh, hey. There's some stuff up there. There's some stuff up there. Source. What level are you? Whoa, hello! Okay, alright, so we are getting a fight. Yay! Fight! Um. Yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna face tank you. Just not interested in that. They'll, they'll grab you, they'll pull you off your thyla, and they'll just be like, you know what? Hey, we're going to sit here and uh, toss around your thyla here for a bit and make you have a really bad time. Hello? I hear it. Ah, oh, yeah, a fight. I've been waiting for these things. <laughs> Bring it. Thank you. Anything else? Come on. Yeah, gimme! The I, I don't like it when caves don't spawn. When they do spawn, they're just so much funner. Pop down through here. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about! Gimme that rabies! Maybe not. I, okay, I don't want rabies. But hey, you know what? I'll uh, I'll take you beating me in the face because it's just so much more exciting when you do that. Thank you. What else we got? Yeah, this is what I'm talking. So so much better when it's like this. Ooh, two megalosaurs. Twenty-five and a fifteen. Let's go sideways here on this one. Come on, reload. Alright, I don't want megalosaurs. I don't like megalosaurs in uh, my face, especially when I'm on a Thyla. Just I mean you'll just be sitting here uh, messing around. It comes up, it grabs you, and it like pushes you around, and then you end up on the ground, and your thigh is being shaken. And you're like going, "What just happened?" Yeah, and then what well, the whole thing is uh, snarling and going, Rrr. "Hey, hold on, this is a 100% accurate reenactment." It goes, Rrr. and then tosses you around, and then you're going, "Ah!" And then you end up on the ground, and your thigh is still getting chewed on. And there's nothing your thigh can do. 
and then uh, it just ends up slowly getting killed, and you have to, like, shoot it in the face. Okay, so I just saw you faceplant on the wall right there. I saw it. Everybody saw it. Oh, yeah, by the way, this cave is amazing for uh, Chitin. It's absolutely amazing. Hello! Look at you, buddy! Come on! I Oh! Alright, so, yeah, there are little tiny golems in here, but on a Thyla with a good saddle, you can kill them. Um, but if you do have a rocket launcher, um, rocket launchers are fun. They take these guys out nice and effectively. Ouch. Dude. I mean, I realize you're not hitting me much, but you're knocking me around, and that's messing with me. Come on, dude. There we go. Yeah. All right. Nailed it. All right. So, uh, and like the... Really? over there dude all right so uh yeah and like the other one this one also has a skin but this is this torch skin and I, I like the torch skin one it looks really good all right so uh now we've got the artifact of the uh crag and the other one now let's go get back to base and then put this down and we're just gonna head out the exact same way we came in right up through here and i'm so happy that we actually had bad things to eat that was great all right. Okay, apparently everything respawned on our way out of the cave. Okay. Hello. Come on. All right, now it's picking up. I'm digging it. Hello. Yeah, let's get out of here. <laughs> Where were you guys when I was coming in? Jeez. There we go. All right, so let's see. We've got... That should be good. Right here on the edge of this. All right, now we've got... See, let's put the yellow one there. And we'll put the red one over here. Perfect. All right, awesome. So, hey, we've got two of the artifacts. One of the caves didn't want to cooperate today, which is unfortunate. The second one finally did. The second one's like, you know what? I'm not going to let him take this artifact without a fight. And I appreciate that, cave. That was really cool. All right. So, hey, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate it. If you're new around here, subscribe. Until next time, this is Fligger Foo, and take it easy, everybody.